Hey what's everybody, I'm Glenn. Today I'm going to be showing how I will be using the Moog Mother 32 um, to generate some uh, kick drum and uh, acid type sounds to be recorded as one shot or loops into the Korg ES1. Um, I'm going to show the sounds individually. I'm not going to show the actual recording process because I was just trying to do that and it was kind of painful. And that's going to take a long time, so I'll just show some examples of the various kick sounds I can get out of the Mother 32. Um, starting, I have right now I have um, the, VC, the VCA turned all the way on just so we can hear what it sounds like. I'll turn the resonance down a little bit. Um, I'm using the noise generator, so we're turned, the mix is turned all the way over to noise. Um, I have the cutoff all the way down, so there's no, there's nothing coming through. Right now, I'm using, I'm running the Mother 32 through the Bethel um, Dude mixer. Um, this is for a couple of things. Um, the output on it is okay, but to do further attenuation and also to do um, to get, I can get some overdrive and um, feedback from the Dude mixer. I basically have this splitter cable set up so that um, the it, it, it's it's a mono mixer but it, it sends the same signal out on both the the, the tip and the sleeve um, I have one I have the tip is running to the input over here and then um, the sleeve is running on this white patch cord right back into input 5 it's turned down right now so that we're not feeding back um, so here is just the standard noise Turn that all the way back down. I will set this as to um, self resonate, self oscillate. Sorry, uh, with a resonance all the way up. Um, and I'll start with something like this with a shorter decay and not too much. Um, I'm using the VCF modulation um, from the envelope generator. You can kind of hear it there. See, checking on this meter, yeah. So you can get that, and then I can start turning it up here to get some distortion. And this is using this is with the um, the VCA running constantly in, in drone mode, so you're not really hearing it completely fall off. I've used this on a few tracks, sometimes it's kind of fun uh, with it off, it's like that. Maybe a little higher, a little more. The feedback. It's about the limit with the feedback. There it goes, right there. So you control the drum pitch basically since we're using the um, the Mother 32, since we're using the um, the self oscillating from the oscillation from the filter, it's a sine wave and the pitch of the drum is controlled by the, the cutoff frequency um, and then the and then I have the, the um, how high it spikes is controlled by the, the modulation amount. So we can set that baseline of a bit higher. Shorten it up. It's getting interesting effects with leaving the feedback almost at the limit right there. Get some smoother ones. And then the 
the other thing that I'll be using this for is um, to generate some extra loops for, um, for some kind of acid sounding bass lines. Um, so I'm gonna, my goal is to make a track using just what I have here with no additional mixer. So everything is coming out of the Electribe. I'm using the, um, I'll be using the, the instrument input um, to, and running some of the, the, the castle and the, and the mother 32 and the dude through the, um, through the, the time and back in, into here as basically using it as an extra input channel. Um, but in the meantime, here is how I will be using the castle to modulate um, the, 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 v, the VCO for the Mother 32. So um, the default for that will be, I'm in low pass on the filter. I'll turn this back down, resonance down there. And I'm gonna switch over to the VCO now. The um, I'm using the ba the Bessel Castle has um, has an I/O port on it, and I'm in it. Use it. I can split that also with a a, a, a TRS um, cable, so that I'm getting um, sync uh, from the Mother 32 is coming in on the tip, which is the left, and that is if you follow this itty bitty patch cable, uh, that is patched to the LFO reset. And then um, I'm using that as an input. Um, and then for the out, I'm taking the stepped um, output from the LFO. Um, and that is running back out to the right, which is coming off the ring and going into, I'm running that into mix one. And then mix one is running into, and, and sorry, the, the, the voltage control mix so I can attenuate it. Um, and that VC mix will run into this VCO. And now, and if I run the sequence around here, the envelope for more of just the on the VCA so much and not so much on the VCF. Of course this always sounds great with distortion from here.
I'll probably do is um, take some of these and once I get them into the ES1 what I've found is um, assign just just assigning whatever length and then playing when I played in bits and pieces of it um, at a different and also chain pick whatever speed it I can find all kinds of extra and random rhythms that I wasn't or hadn't originally heard and hadn't really intended um, can find some really interesting things in there so let's see what I get out of it <laughs> 